Welcome back to our channel. In the previous videos, we have seen how we can use Excel as complete beginners, how we can use pivot tables, and how we can use Excel for bookkeeping. In this tutorial, I will help you to build a dashboard which looks like this one. My sheet is composed of 14 different KPIs, and I don't want you to concentrate a lot on the KPIs because you are going to change them anyway to the KPIs of your own organization. And in this dashboard, it's composed of two main parts or two main widgets. This is the first widget, which shows you four pieces of information. The first one is the KPI. The second one is the value of the KPI for the month which is chosen. The third one is a line chart for the KPI. And the fourth one is the variance. And in my, ac in my, in my sheet or in my data sheet, I have my KPIs, I have their values per month. And in these three cells, I have the actual value of the, of the month which is chosen from here. And I built an if statement, an instant if statement to match this month with this month and get this value to the cell. While this column holds the value of the KPI but for the previous month of the selected, and this is the variance. So to build this same widget, I have I have opened a new sheet or a new um, dashboard sheet, and I just get these cells colored. That you can do it by just selecting and choosing a specific color from here. So I'm going to write in the cell equal, then go to the calculation sheet and choose the KPI, just like that. Now to build this value you will also need to go to your dashboard click on equal then choose the actual value now in order to create this line chart you will need to go to your calculation and choose this data then choose from insert line chart then you will need to remove all the data around it so i'm going to remove the a the axis the title i'm going to remove everything i'm going to remo remove the grid line just like this then i'm going to head to the the formatting of the chart itself by double clicking on it then go to the fill and choose no fill just like that now I'm going to cut this chart then go to my dashboard and click on control V to answer the chart now I'm going to size it to a suitable size let's drag it size hold in here then you will need to drag it to the desired place just like that and now I'm going also to remove the border choose no line just like this so it's perfect now it's pretty much same like this one you can resize it by just dragging like this until it gives you the same option or the same shape you can also choose the chart and choose and change its fill from fill then you will be able to change the color from here so you can ch choose a similar color to what was chosen in the original dashboard you can also resize it until it's exactly in the middle just like this one now the next one is to insert the variance so I'm going to this cell and click on equal then go to the calculation sheet and choose the vari variance from here then click on enter and I think there is a problem with the fill so I'm going to change the color into white the color of the text into white just like that or you could can cho change it to purple as the one that we chose for the chart and decrease its size until it fits the same as the dashboard then you can just copy this text and place it below Bel place it below in here 
then reduce its size for example until it matches the original one just like this so this way you have built the first widget in this sheet it's just lacking some formatting like reducing the size of some text or changing the orientation but you've got the point for making this first widget so if you want to create the second widget which is the donut by chart make sure to subscribe to our channel because this is gonna be our next topic stay tuned and thank you for watching